This is the one sin that God will never forgive you of. When I say a sin that God will never forgive you of, I do not want you to be confused about the unpardonable sin. The unpardonable sin is quite different than this particular sin that I'm going to tell you about. From this sin, everything else flows. Now, this doesn't mean that a person could not get past this sin, can be redeemed and can have a change of heart and leave or depart from this particular sin. But this particular sin, if you are engaged in this sin, there is there is nothing that can be done for you. And from this particular sin flows everything else. It is the sin of selfishness, the sin of me, the sin of I. Think about the father of all of these things. That is the devil who in his own mind said that I will be like the most high and I will ascend to be like him. And so we see the same thing happening to us. Why do you think the Bible says that if you do not forgive, then you yourself will not be forgiven? It's not that forgiveness is an unforgivable sin, but if you are unforgiving, where does that come from? That comes from, from me, from I. Why do I say that? Because if a person has done you wrong and you don't want to forgive, it's because you're focused on me, I. You think, as Paul says not to do, more highly of yourself than you ought to, thinking that someone has actually offended you and that should not be the case. You think too much about yourself. Pride. Pride goes before the fall. You cannot have pride if you're not thinking about I, if you're not thinking about me, if you're not thinking about yourself. You think so highly of yourself that you don't want anyone to look down on you. You want people to see you in a better light. That's pride. That's you making sure that you get more glory and more fame than the father, as well as your fellow man. Think about every sexual sin that you can think of. That proceeds from a desire to satisfy yourself, not to fulfill the needs of the father, but to fulfill your needs, not to fulfill his will, but to fulfill your will. The, the greatest sin, the sin that people are going to die of, all they have to do is grab a mirror and look at it and see that's the reason why I am going to hell. Not because of something I could not do, but because I love myself too much. Paul kind of tells this to us in, in a roundabout way. He says in Galatians 5.16, he says, but I say, walk in the spirit and you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. For the flesh sets its desire against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. For these are in opposition to one another so that you may not do the things that you please. In other words, the point is, you want to do the things that you please, but those things go against or contrary to God, to what he wants you to do. Continuing, he says, but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the deeds of the flesh are evident. Here they are, which are immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousies, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these of which I forewarned you, I just, just as I have forewarned you that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. All of these things have one thing in common, me, I, what I want, their inward focus, as opposed to being outward focused and certainly not heaven focused. And so the greatest sin that we can find out there or the root cause of all of these sins is me. No coincidence. I don't know if this was intentional or not, but whoever came up with the word sin, God, notice the word I or the letter I is in the middle of it. We say that kind of kind of as a cliche or kind of tongue in cheek or try to be cute. But the fact of the matter is, it is true. The middle of sin has everything to do with I, everything to do with me. And apart from you denying yourself, you can never see the kingdom of God. You're too focused on you. And why would you even want to? No one can please you like you can. At least that's what you feel like in your mind. You are out after your own as opposed to being after what he wants. And so that is the sin that will lead people to hell. There won't be a person in hell who's not selfish. Not one.